Hi Church, my name is Sarah Snelson and along with my husband Rob, we are the North Area Pastors. Uh, we're just doing our devotion series at the moment on Jesus Is and I'm just going to share with you how uh, Jesus is my comforter. So about 20 years ago, um, I gave my life back to Jesus and this was an instant decision for me. Um, however, it kind of turned my life upside down and I had to kind of make decisions about how I was doing certain things and people that were in my life that were really, really hard. So I found myself a good church full of friendly people and I know I was living the life that God wanted me to lead. However, I was also quite sad and lonely about some of the changes that I'd made and particularly in the relationships where I know I was be, a be, being obedient to God, but um, it was still really difficult and challenging. So one Sunday evening, I um, went to the church service and I kind of slipped in the back just before it started. So nobody would really speak to me because I wasn't feeling like chatting. And um, just during worship, I was just really just asking God just to just to, for me to know that everything would be OK. And there was just a moment when I just felt this big, warm fluffy cozy blanket just getting wrapped around me um, and I just knew from that moment on that God had me and that he was going to be there for me in the times when I was sad and lonely and that he was going to start to bring joy back into my life. Now, my circumstances didn't change instantly. I didn't walk out of that place into a completely different um, set of, of circumstances but how I felt about things did change. And over the next few months, whoa, God did some amazing things in my life, amazing things. Um, and uh, yeah, just, it was just, it was just amazing. But um, I've never, ever, ever forgotten that big, cozy blanket being wrapped around me. And I don't think I ever will. And just in sad and lonely times since then, I have just remembered that God is my comforter and um, and that he just wants to wrap himself around me. And as I later studied the Psalms in the message, um, sorry, no, in the Passion Translation, I found reference to exactly what I'd experienced. Uh, Psalm 61, 3 says, Lord, you are a paradise of protection to me. You lift me high above the fray. None of my foes can touch me when I'm held firmly in your wrap around presence. Psalm 7, 10, God, your wrap around presence is my protection and my defence. You bring victory to all who reach out for you. And Psalms 84, 9 says, God, your wraparound presence is our defence. In your kindness, look upon the faces of your anointed ones. And that's what he did. He looked kindly upon my face. And um, just as I made those t tough decisions for him, he just gave me so much more back. So many blessings. I can't even believe to tell, start to tell you. So church, um, I just want to pray today that God is your comforter, that you know that, that you experience him and you experience that wrap around presence, whatever your circumstances are, whatever you're going through, that his wrap around presence will get you through. OK, well, have an amazing day, an amazing week and I'll see you soon. Bye.